Hey everyone, how's it going? I just wanted to put up a quick little tutorial video on how to install the Aurora Ruby Alice mod. Uh, so the first step is you want to go to my website, MrRube.com, and then go to Aurora mod, and then downloads. So there'll be a link in the description. Uh, the first step is you want to actually download the Aurora mod, so just click the link there, save the file, and then we want to download Forge. Uh, for our initial release, the version is uh, 471. So once AdFly does its thing with its invisible ads, we save the file, and then we are set. Alright, so the first step is we're going to open up Minecraft, and then go to Options, and then Force an Update. Um, if you already have Forge um, 471 installed, you really don't have to do this step. It's just so that you can start with a fresh build and potentially mitigate any problems that you have further down the road. So we'll just log in, it'll update everything, and then we will have a fresh jar to work with. Alright, so let's just close this. So then we want to go to our .minecraft folder. In Windows, you type in percent app data percent hit enter to go into the roaming folder and then we go into the dot minecraft folder now you want to open up your um, your bin folder and then right click and open up the minecraft.jar with whatever archive editor that you use I'm using sevens up here you can use WinRAR or whatever it'll be the same process so first steps first we want to delete meta dash inf and then we're going to open forge so we just open that, and we have all these files. I use Control a just to select everything, and then we're going to drag it and drop it into the Minecraft.jar. So, yes, we want to confirm this, and Forge is installed. So if we start up Minecraft again, log in, you can see Forge Mod Loader is doing its thing, and Forge is installed. Now, if you didn't do that step, it's um, that's fine. Uh, what we want to do is, there's a core mods folder here that wasn't there before, or, well, in my case it was, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> so you want to go into the core mods folder and then open up the um, the build for the Aurora Ruby Alice mod, um, and you will see a Aurora Ruby Alice jar, and we want to put that jar into the core mods folder of the .minecraft folder. So now it's it's all in there and perfect. So if we start up Minecraft again, log in. Uh, okay, it's doing its business. And now we can see our mod is installed. And if we go into a, a world and go to the correct time, we have auroras. So I hope you guys, I hope this helps out. Um, there is a config file. I think I'll, I'll run through that real quick. If you go to uh, .minecraft slash config, you'll see rubarora.config. And if we open this with um, notepad or something like that, you'll get this. Um, the first value is aurora animations. Uh, that's not used. Um, don't. Don't bother altering that. Y translation will actually make it so that you can't touch the auroras. Debug information um, is basically if you want to see if you're having weird issues, I would suggest turning that to true, and then um, paste binning the console spam so I could see what it looks like. Uh, multiple bands um, set that to false for better performance. Version checking um, what that does is this mod automatically will check if your version is correct, or at least up to date. If it isn't, it'll display a message with a link to the download page. Um, if, this might cause some issues with logging in, um, but if you set it to false, it should be perfectly fine. And then there's biome lists. So if there's any biomes that you want to include for auroras to spawn, just add a comma and then type it in. You don't need to put any spaces. Or at least um, if the biome name has spaces, like you can see, Ice Mountains has one, um, then you can do it, but otherwise, uh, no spaces between everything. Just kind of keep it compacted. Uh, anyway, I hope this helped you out, and I hope you guys are having fun, and I shall see you around.